Hi, let's see about the inventory management system. So this is the admin login. So admin at gmail at common password is test. So once you log in with the admin, we have to start this at the same MySQL. Started. So once you log in with the admin, you will have two options. Uh, you can create your own employees like uh, employee ID. So the admin can able, able to manage the employees. Here uh, they can add employees. We have added a new employee here. So this is the password. And if you want to update the password or mobile number, you can update and save it. So if you want to delete it, then you can able to delete the function. So this is the uh, option for the admin side. For the employee, so this is the employee login, user at gmail.com. So first, this is the inventory pan panel for the employee. So first, they have to configure the categories, what kind of category uh, of product they are having and they have the list of product they have to configure it and they have to configure the uh, product stock quantities for the corresponding uh, products okay and they can able to add and manage their uh, customers and they can able to build their customers so we use the combination of inventory and building system we can add uh, the expenses and the collection of payments also so these are the uh, product stock management customer management invoice management and the expenses okay so we have almost five models uh, mostly so we, i'm adding a new category here so add category so i'm adding a category called mobile products so i have added a new category if you want to edit you can edit it okay so if you want to delete the uh, category you can uh, delete it so the category has been deleted okay so we, I have created a mobile category so I'm adding uh, new products so already you can see the product name category price with the GST so I'm creating a new product so product name is a red and the product category is mobile and price is 10,500 plus 18 percent GST created successfully so I have successfully added the uh, mobile so GST and all. so if you want to edit or delete you can do the operations here so we have configured the uh, products so after that we have to configure the stock so here we can see the stock so for the stock you can create stock so you have to enter the date today date and product name so if you type uh, a letter, so all the product will be registered. So you have to select the uh, corresponding product name and the category, and you have to enter the quantity is hundred okay. and the price. Like okay. and notes if you have anything and with GST or with the GST, it's created successfully. So. We have entered a new uh, so this price is the total price. It's not a um, it's not a individual price. So this is the total quantity stock price. So I have updated you can the product. Okay. So stock ID, entry date, and product name, category, and quantity, and GST. So you can see here in the bottom table you can see the quantity. Uh, stock uh, quantity for the each table so currently we are having uh, 100 okay you can also uh, see the stock uh, balance uh, for the particular product and the total prices okay. so if there is uh, a special option called you can able to uh, filter it so if you want to filter from week wise or date from month to so we can able to filter it so currently we are having um, so I am filtering from 1 to 7, so there won't be any still results here, okay. I think some new results are coming. So if you want to export, you can export it. Okay. 
ਕਿ ਸੋ ਸੋ ਦਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਸਟਾਕ ਕਮੈਂਡ ਸੋ ਕੈਨ ਐਡ ਅ ਨਿਊ ਕਸਟਮਰ ਸੋ ਕੈਨ ਐਂਟਰ ਦ ਕਸਟਮਰ ਨੇਮ ਇਨ ਦ ਮੋਬਾਈਲ ਨੰਬਰ ਐਂਡ ਦ ਐਡਰੈਸ ਸੋ ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਕੰਫਿਗਰ ਦ ਕਸਟਮਰ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਮੈਨੇਜ ਹੀਅਰ if you want to create a invoice so create invoice and you can create invoice create it and you can search the names and the item and the quantity is one plus zero of the gst so with the gst this is the price with the no gst this is the price so with the gst so i am paying the same amount there is no balance submit in this great successfully so here you can see the uh, total amount so if there is any balance it will show the balance stock you can see the stock has been reduced to 99 okay so this is the and for for the payments you can see the payment history for the today date we have collected a payment here okay so and also um, the expenses if you want to create the expenses like e bill or something like that you can add the revenue uh, like that so you can manage your expenses here you can also see the uh, total invoice rise and paid and the building balance 